What's up, Cartmasters? Knights at back with another video. Capcom just dropped the title update number three with special guest VTuber Fiorain and gave us the lowdown on what to expect on November 24th. Let's break it down and sum it up really quick. First off, we've got the monsters. As we've gotten Risen Camellios in the last title update, it was easy to assume that we were going to get Risen Kushala and Risen Tiastra added to the mix as well as they are the Elder Dragon Trio. Their respective colorations definitely make them look pretty cool and powerful and sets them apart from their regular counterparts. Based off the footage and from our experience with Risen Camellios, needless to say, these Risen Elder Dragons will hit much harder and will be much more aggressive. The armors have also been shown off and they look more or less how the originals looked but with a darker coloration and red evil eyes. The third monster we're getting is a variant of the fan favorite Gormagala. For newcomers to the series, Chaotic Gore Magala is what happens when the evolution towards Shagaru Magala fails, and so you can see both colorations in both the monster and in the armor set. The Chaotic Gore also inherits attacks from both Magalas. In terms of quests, the afflicted quests will get expanded upon. A7 anomaly quests are to be added, which will include monsters such as Flaming Espinas, Scorned Magnamalo, and Seething Basil Geese. Anomaly investigations can also get leveled up to 200. In addition to this, they can also have their levels lowered in case you need a specific afflicted material from a particular monster. Curious crafting is also getting updated. We'll now be able to choose between using our materials to either raise the defense specifically, to roll for skills, or to roll the results randomly. For everyone that enjoys curious crafting, this should make the grind a little bit easier. Another cool thing is the follower system. Hunters will be able to bring their favorite NPCs into anomaly quests and investigations in addition to master rank quests. This is actually something that's gotten me the most hyped about title update number 3, as this is a feature that makes it a great way to interact with the characters beyond just dialogue. It's also great for people who just want to play by themselves but want help without the need to play online. I personally would love to see this as a recurring feature moving forward with the Monster Hunter series. Event quests will also continue to be released on a weekly basis and seems to feature at least three armor sets, a couple of headgears, and a palamute slash palico set, in addition to what I'm assuming will be titles, stickers, gestures, and poses. And a new character voice featuring the character Kagami, the leader of the Royal Secret Service. As for the paid DLC, we have the plushie weapon set, which turns all the weapons into adorable plushies. We also have some new music tracks, some winter drip for both the hunters and hunting buddies, new hairstyles and makeup, and etc. The roadmap has also been updated where the winter update will feature an elder dragon and a powered up monster, and a spring update is also currently in the works. Now that pretty much sums up everything that we got to see in the update. To be perfectly honest, I kind of feel that the content of the update was a little predictable, but hey, I'm happy nonetheless for the new content. What do you all think? Drop a like, leave a comment about how you feel about the title update, and smash the subscribe button and bell icon for more content from me. Don't forget, you can catch me live streaming on Twitch where I play a variety of games including Genshin Impact, Apex Legends, Overwatch 2, and of course, Monster Hunter. That's all from me, Cartmasters. As always, stay safe, get mad, get sad, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Please clip that, that was so cool! I'm actually so cracked! Yo, let's fucking go! He sports all day, dude! Wow!